Ever since Assassin's Creed started leaping from ancient Jerusalem to Renaissance Italy to colonial America and beyond, there has been a long-standing itch to see the open-world stealth action series take on feudal Japan. Consider that itch sufficiently scratched with Ghost of Tsushima. Sucker Punch's latest is an absolutely gorgeous adventure through one of history's most strikingly beautiful landscapes, and that beauty is compounded by one of the best blade-to-blade -blade combat systems the open-world action genre has seen. There are some stumbles when it comes to stealth, enemy AI, and a few general minor frustrations, but for just about every moment where Ghost of Tsushima falters, there are plenty more where it soars. Ghost of Tsushima is a fictional tale told with fictional characters, but it's based on the very real invasion of Japan by the Mongol Empire in 1274 that began on the island of Tsushima. You take control of Jin Sakai, capably acted by the man in the High Castle's Daisuke Suji, who starts off as a samurai before a disastrous battle against the invaders quickly teaches him that perhaps the honorable but restrictive ways of the samurai code might not be enough to deal with this new and existential threat. Every Sucker Punch game review Ghost of Tsushima revolves around this inner conflict as Jin's formative teachings push up against his need to save his homeland at any cost, and though it takes a little while to really get going, it's a compelling struggle. Even if Jin himself isn't the most charismatic of protagonists, his foil, Koten Khan, played by Glee's Patrick Gallagher, has charisma in spades. He's one of the most memorable game villains of recent memory thanks to his soft intensity that is oddly calming despite his terrifying intentions. He's extremely cunning, always one step ahead, and his presence as the big bad is a large part of why Jin's 40-50 hour quest for vengeance works so well. Koten Khan is one of the most memorable game villains of recent memory. As good as the English voice cast is, though, it's a shame that Sucker Punch wasn't able to find a way to have the performance capture match the Japanese voice acting as well. As a result, if you choose to play with the excellent Japanese audio track, which features the outstanding Kazuya Nakai as Jin, it comes off as a comparatively cheap dub with wildly mismatched lip flaps and facial expressions that don't mirror the emotion in the voice. It's not a huge issue as it's still well worth playing in Japanese, and you have the option of enabling the beautiful Kurosawa mode, which puts a film grainy black and white filter over everything to match the style of the classic Akira Kurosawa movies that Ghost of Tsushima so effectively pays homage to. I wouldn't recommend playing the whole campaign in Kurosawa mode, as there are some quests that demand some color recognition, but it's a great visual effect to turn on every now and then. What isn't ever a bummer is the music.